Hello, my friends. So before we get going into our next program where I'm going to show you how to program with two color sensors, I just wanted to show you quickly how to put this together if you happen to be lucky enough to have more than one color sensor in your collection. So this is what we've been working with with the color sensor in our model. Um, and so we're going to use the exact same attachment. So if I go ahead and pull this off here. If you remember, we just used these three pieces. We got a, a three length gray axle, um, this little kind of L piece, and then this black piece right here. And we're gonna actually mimic that and do the exact same thing, but we're just going to place them on opposite sides. So on your second motor, if I put these side by side here, you can see that um, basic same build, you have these parts in your kit, and we're just going to just reverse the positions that we place those two pieces on. Once you have that, then we're going to go through and we're going to take these pins, these axles with the uh, stops at the end, and we're going to invert them. And the reason that we're doing this is because we want to get these color sensors close to each other. And actually, by doing this just little change, if you're using a first Lego League mat or just regular black tape, this actually lines up pretty well if I can just get this thing in there. There we go. Okay. So it'll look like this when you're done. And then now all we're going to do is just obviously go ahead and attach those. So I'm going to slide one on just like so. And then I will slide this other one on. So in the end, now we'll have two sensors on the front. If you're using your own build, it's probably just as easy to do depending on what you've created. Um, and then we'll just go ahead and plug these into our ports. So I'm gonna have, if I'm looking at my robot this way, you can see this one, this is to my right if I'm looking at it from the top down, goes to port three, and then the one on the left will go to port four. So. That's how I put this together for this next example where we'll be writing code that will be using the color sensor readings of two color sensors. So when you're ready for that, go ahead and dive on into the action and uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, my friends, I look forward to seeing your creations. Peace. I'm <laughs> going